I don't want to say I was surprised, but I found it interesting, like, how similar we were to each other. Like, we had a lot of similarities. For me, like, my main thing was, do I answer this honestly to this person? I have no idea who they are. It was kind of awkward at first, but I think after maybe, like, only one or two questions, it became really easy, and we just basically spoke our mind, and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I enjoyed when we didn't just answer the question and, and move on. Like it was a, more of a conversation rather than just thinking of each. I, I feel like I feel like I could uh, I could just hang out with him the next day. Like I've been hanging out with him like the entire semester, the entire year. Like it's compressed a lot of time. Yeah, I, more than anything, having the opportunity to share really personal stuff with someone. Um, that, that, that's an intimate connection regardless. That's definitely hoping to get that out of it. Whether or not you can name that love, it's hard to say, but um, I think love comes in many different forms, so. It's kind of cool to see that like, you can be with someone who's like completely different than you and like still find similarities, which is fun. When we had to like say like, what we liked about each other, I felt kind of like egotistical because I was thinking like the things that I like about Austin are things that I like about myself. Uh, <laughs> Jacob's been been taking some dance lessons classes at Spain, and we're like, oh, this could be a great song. So, I'm super excited about it. She's a much better dancer than I am. So. And I can see where if you were just with one person in really intimately going into these questions, how you could have a connection walking away from it where it's like, oh my god, I'm catching feelings, what's going on? <laughs> I think my main goal would just be to find like a really good friend. I just, relationships and stuff. Like, I don't know, I know that was like the point of this, but also like, I was like, this will be fun and meet, to meet people, you know? Definitely. We're we'll seeing each other at Necto. <laughs> yeah, it's like where, we actually have plans Friday. <laughs> Good job. But not together, like, it just it happened. Was we were separate together, together, but still wonderful. Mm -hmm. For me, it was about, like, how do you approach a conversation? Like, usually, when you're approaching a conversation with a stranger, you don't really care that much what they have to say. Yes, it sounds really horrible, but, like, you know, it's about, like, how much do you care? And I think that in this kind of situation, you're almost forcing yourself to care about this person. I, like, randomly, like, dropped some, like, negative bombs in there. Where <laughs> it's like, should I have said that? And I think that's like how you make connections, be, be like willing to be vulnerable, but like encouraging others, like not just like myself being vulnerable, but also like encouraging others to like share. Both people are stepping and committing to just like be honest and learn about each other and learn from each other. Um, and so I think there's kind of like this raw, organic um, excitement um, and honesty that comes from like just two complete strangers walking in because there's literally no weight on anybody's shoulders. But I think if there's people who like, know each other, so I can answer questions, I think it could be a little bit less and scary.